As mentioned, hopeful the Royals game tonight is just humid and cloudy with no rain. 74 to start, 69 for the finish. Overnight, a cloudy sky. Lows are going to drop uh, almost uh, universally here, or uniformly, I should say, uh, about 65 degrees uh, for Thursday morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we get a south wind, so a southerly flow returns with moisture. Highs are going to bump up into the low 80s and a few upper 70s, and we're going to have clouds, and we're probably going to have rain, showers, and thunderstorms, and some of that rain could be heavy, and it's not going to take as much rain to result in flash flooding because we've already done the damage. It's not going to take much more at a 60% chance of off and on showers and thunderstorms likely throughout your Thursday morning, afternoon into the evening. That's the next Royals game. 615 is the first pitch. Here's the headline screaming headline. Bring the rain gear 77 to start 73 to finish. 60% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms for this one. And FutureScan picks up on the rain and thunderstorms expected for tomorrow morning. And I'm going to take you through the afternoon. You notice you start to see more of the darker greens. It's more widespread into tomorrow evening. We're still dealing with showers and thunderstorms. The big threat from those storms, flash flooding and lightning. As far as damaging wind and damaging hell, that potential is there, but it's low. More concerned about the lightning, especially with outdoor sporting events like football on Friday and the Royals game. Saturday, Sunday, we're dry. I don't think we have to worry too much about the way of rain over the weekend. It's a very low chance. Highs are going to be in the upper 70s, so a pleasant weekend.